Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I kind of lost my voice this week, apparently, but um, I wanted to show you this really cool thing. So I'm gonna show you how to freeze corn on the cob. I went to, there is a um, farm that's close to where we live because we're kind of in a rural community now. And it was like 30 ears of corn for $10. And um, so I went there, I mean, there was just like overflowing corn. They literally just harvested it like last, I think like two or three days ago, like this last weekend. And so I wanted to get a bunch of corn and I thought it'd be a good idea to freeze a bunch of it to kind of have to eat through the fall. So I got myself 30 ears of corn lots of corn and I looked it up and I'm going to show you guys how you freeze corn on the cob and I've been told that basically after you thaw it you um, boil it again it tastes just like fresh corn on the cob so let's get started all right so I'm going to show you guys how I do this obviously this is pretty easy part and I kind of have my phone kind of precariously perched so that it doesn't fall over once again I'm sorry I sound terrible so I checked I shucked it while I was there because they had a big old garbage can for it so it made it easier so I didn't have to bring home all the yucky part of it or whatever <laughs> so first thing you do of course is get all the silk and everything off of the corn so there's still a few pieces here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off the very tips like kind of this yucky part so that you know we might as well not freeze the stuff we're not going to actually eat so I got myself a big old knife and I'm just cutting it off like that and that way it'll <clears throat> hopefully fit a little bit better and yeah like I said we're just cutting off what we won't eat anyway so we'll save a little bit of time and just yeah not make a mess I guess well so yeah this one didn't do very good so I'm going to cut it off a little bit further but it works out for our family because you know we have little kids so smaller ears aren't that bad of a aren't that bad of a thing I guess I should say all right, so what we're going to be doing is called blanching. Now it says you can do up to five cobs at a time, so I'm going to try to do five cobs. So I'm waiting for the water to get ready. It's got to be like a full-blown roaring, roaring boil. So it's starting to kind of bubble a little bit. I give it another minute or so before it's like officially boiling. And then I'm just going to gently place the corn into the pot. So... All right, so now we're really boiling, so I'm just going to gently set the corn in. Try not to splash it, so you normally set it very gently so it doesn't splash and, you know, hit you with boiling water. So we're going to put five years in here. Hopefully I can make five. And then you're going to set your timer for five to six minutes. So I'm going to do six minutes. And then you're gonna let it, it's gonna, the boil's gonna come back up again. You're gonna let it boil for five, six minutes. And we're gonna put it in this little colander. And then you're gonna quickly take it over here to the sink to the cold water. That's gonna be the next step. So let's get this stuff going. All right, so turning the timer off, and now I'm using my tongs, and I'm just gonna take the corn out of the boiling water, putting it into this little colander here. And hopefully this works. See, now it's really boiling. That's good. All right, so now I'm going to take this colander over to my sink, and I got cold water in here. And basically, you're just going to gently, not as gently as I was hoping to be, and now you're just going to put it in cold water and let it kind of cool off for a couple minutes. So now I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to put this corn into the batch, start the timer again, and then I'm going to go over and pull that out probably by the time I'm done. I guess I can do it now. See, I just tried to, oh, see, that was a little too much. Try to gently place it in because you don't want it to splash and burn your fingers. So, And it will kind of stop boiling when you put the fresh corn in, but it'll start boiling again, and that's fine. So, timer back for six minutes. Okay, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to give it probably one more minute in here. Then I'm going to move it over to my relatively clean side of the sink and have it, um, it's going to go in here to drain and dry and then it'll get moved into its little freezer bag so that's the next step all right so here are four of the five bags that i have i have the last one in the cold water um cooling off but yeah so how i did it is i just did in single layers so it's four ears and then an extra so i did five of each bag because our family we have five of us and obviously five is going to be what we'll be cooking most of the time when we're having dinner so 
So I hope that was helpful. I kind of had fun doing this. Um, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should go get more because it was a really good price. It was 30 years of corn for $10, which is like dirt cheap in my opinion. But um, yeah, so I got my corn all done and I've got the last one in there. Just um, gonna get it all packaged up as soon as it's done. And then I'm going to just throw this in my deep freeze and um, I'm thinking I'll probably plan like, you know, once a month or even twice a month we'll use it. So we'll eat it up probably before winter really hits. But it's a vegetable that you can have with your meals and also you can de, um, like de-kernel it if you want to. Um, basically you just hold it with a knife and you kind of cut the kernels off, but it is really messy and my kids like it off the cob. It's a little bit less messy that way, at least in my opinion. So yeah, so that was really easy. So if you guys like these, please give me a thumbs up. Um, also, I am gonna try to, probably won't be till September, but I do wanna do a, um, it's almost blackberry season here, and I wanna do like, I've been looking at a recipe for like freezer jam. So I've been told it's way easier than like regular jam, so I'm gonna attempt to do that this year. Since we have so many blackberries, I kinda wanna freeze a bunch, and if I can either have frozen blackberries to you know thaw out for fresh, or make jam, so I don't have to buy jam anymore. Why not? So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.